All right, so uh, first of all, I will have to download a model and that I, I have downloaded from a PTM website, predictive technology model. And I have a couple of CMOS models here. One of them is say 130 nanometer uh, NMOS model. So this is the name of the model and this is the device type. So this is a model for NMOS device and this name must be NMOS here. You cannot change this. Model name could be anything, NMOS1, PMOS1, or NMOD, whatever it is. But it, it is a standard practice to keep it NMOS. Similarly, uh, lower down here, you can see dot model statement for PMOS. So this line again, this, this one must be PMOS. And this is the name of the model, which could be anything, but again, PMOS is a standard practice. So this is BCM4 model and the level defined here is 54 and the version is 4.0. So it's a bit older uh, model. Yeah, and of course it's a 2006 release. So let's go ahead and let's uh, say that we are gonna use this uh, model in um, ADS to simulate a CMOS inverter. So to that end, first of all, I will create uh, a schematic, let's call it cell two, and I will grab a couple of MOSFETs here. So let me see where is CMOS device. So it was somewhere down here. Devices, MOS, and to attach a model, I will, in, in CMOS process, IC design process, you will you choose a four pin uh, NMOS. So let's say this is NMOS, and then I will choose a four pin PMOS symbol. So this is what I have, but because source is here, so I will have to rotate it because in CMOS inverter source is up towards the VDD. So control R and this, all right. And then F5 for moving text here and F5 for this also. And let's move this text here. All right, so now we have NMOS and a PMOS, and then we need the VDD supply. So we will go here, uh, source, let's call this VDD, control R. Let's keep it, keep it here maybe, and use a ground wire. Sorry, click them here. Now connect them here. This should be connected. Sources usually in CMOS process is tied to the body terminal, which is what this central pin is. And then you go here, click here, that's your source. Alrighty, and then you should have a ground here. So let's make the CMOS inverter. The gates are connected together. Perfect. So this is the CMOS inverter, where this pin is your input and this pin is your output. So maybe we can rename them. So let's say we are gonna call this in and call this out. So these are the pins, pin names, input and output. And then I will, I'm going to do a DC sweep analysis. So to that end, I will go to uh, simulation DC and grab this DC uh, controller block here. Now to sweep the source, I will attach a source here. So again, let's go to source frequency domain and grab a DC source. So my idea is to, uh, my plan is to sweep the input source from zero to VDD. So let's say for 130 nanometer uh, model, let's say the supply is 1.5 volt. It may be a bit more, but let's say it's a 1.5 volt VDD that you are gonna use. All right, so that's the VDD. And then, uh, so my plan is to sweep the input source from zero to 1.5 volt and see how the output changes. So we are basically doing a DC sweep analysis or we are trying to plot the VTC, the voltage transfer characteristic of the CMOS. Okay, so I think everything is set. There are a couple of things that we have to do. First of all, uh, uh, let's define a variable. That's how I do DC sweep. Let's say we are calling this V in, and the initial value of this doesn't matter, and we will just write V in here. 
because after all we are going to sweep this so this value doesn't matter and then my plan is to sweep v in the input voltage from say 0 to 1.5 volt yeah let's go let's take you know uh, 201 points apply okay that may be a bit more but ADS is pretty fast anyways so so we have planned or we have configured the DC sweep so I define this input source as a variable V in and my plan is to sweep this pin from 0 to power supply which is 1.5 volt and then plot output now we have to attach uh, we have to define the length of this so this is how you will do just double click on this and then as far as model is concerned uh, we will type the name of model as because that is NMOS so we have seen in the file the model name is NMOS so we will type in NMOS here length is say 130 uh, nanometer and then the width is say uh, 260 nanometer press OK in general you should also define this uh, you know parameters to get a better result and especially the if you are if you are concerned about and you would do it that any anyways in any real life setup you will do an estimation of the uh, you know the periphery of the device and that will give you a nice estimate of the capacitance device capacitance without that it is like it will be erroneous but anyways this is how basically you do it similarly we'll go here define this as the name of the model is PMOS and we know that the length basic length is 130 nanometer and then let's say this is 524 times uh, the basic length uh, all right so everything is set up now and this is MOSFET 1 MOSFET 2 model name is PMOS model name is NMOS now our task is to uh, attach a model so for that I will go to device somewhere it says device uh, data data items so you go to the data items here and click on this net list and then escape double click on this and include files and now you browse down to your location where you have that uh, you know the models so on desktop I have bsim and 130 nanometer bsim it has been included perfect apply and now you do this simulation I hope everything is perfect here so it does the simulation and now I will go here there is some warning that like you know the bsim version 4 here is not perfectly matched with the BSIM new, newer version of MOSFET supported by ADS well but because anyways our model is a bit older so that doesn't matter here so we wanted to plot V out output volt, output terminal voltage and versus sorry so we wanted to plot output for, versus the input and this is how it looks like so maybe plot option x-axis must go from 0 to 1.5 and maybe do it in, in terms of uh, 0.25 or press OK so yeah we can see it's not very centered so possibly maybe increase this a bit to see what happens yeah it's getting towards the center I would expect that let me see plot option y-axis that should go to 5 and steps of 0 0.25 so this should be around here in the, in the center so let's say around 620 so the symmetry of this graph as you know depends on the ratio of uh, mu n and mu p the electron and hole mobilities and whatnot so you can like you know work with this and you can see how much is the uh, that ratio should be you can do sweep uh, parametric sweep and whatnot and I can see that the it seems the threshold voltage is around 0.25 volt from this characteristic so this is how basically you uh, perform CMOS simulation using ADS and you use the uh, the downloaded model and the basic idea is to do the uh, netlist include here so this concludes this uh, small tutorial